for some time now if you are current you will know that the federal government and the senate are planning to establish ranching for headers in different states in nigeria somebody brought the bee to senate and they have been deliberating on it why they at it some flanny senators rejected it rather they prefer a free movement with their cow to different states of nigeria why some of them both in the northern part of the country has also rejected the free movement rather they say that they will prefer to establish ranching for the headers in different states but for senate president he told the flanny senators that cows are not move human beings to allow to move freely from state to state as and also not with those who are cardinal k47 why they are deliberating this issue this is what habaribe have to say listen and i will be back for my analysis for drawing our attention to a very critical part of our national life that is leading to a disintegration of our lives through the incessant harder farmer clash, destruction of uh, plants and all that by those. And indeed, that has also led to the invasion of Nigeria by those who call themselves Hadas but are not Nigerian citizens. I recall, as a member of this Senate, that this bill at a particular time was also introduced on the floor of this Senate by Senator Kwankwaso. <laughs> I recall also the problem that I was following the debate, and that problem is what we will need to tackle if we have to get to the nitty gritty of this bill. While I agree that now is the time for us to stop open grazing, it also means that this is also the time for us to take another look at uh, the law that makes land to be in the hands of states. Because there's no way you are going to be able to establish a ranch in a state if the state government says that they don't want it. I'm glad that uh, Senator Zam has said that those who are sedentary, um, not uh, uh, in states of origin of the headers, should be able to establish ranches. And of course, he has also given us the costing. But in order to do this, we must go back and look at the law. Because if we don't deal with that law, merely asking people to go if they want to establish ranch, to now go and uh, talk with those. No one owns land. It's the state governments that own land. That means that even if you agree with uh, the owners or settlers or a community or that, if the state government does not give its consent, then it means that you will not be able to go forward with it. So as we consider this, I also want us to look at the Land Use Act as an impediment to this particular very wonderful bill to ensure that we can get and put to rest this matter of header pharmacology. And I can see why. 
And I want to also recall to all my colleagues that at a particular time, the former governor of Kano State, Ganduje, suggested to everyone that he has enough land in Kano State for all the headers in Nigeria to come and uh, graze. But of course, what happened is that some people are using these headers and all that to destabilize this country. Just two weeks ago, I was at home in my own local government in Obingwa, far down in the southern part of Nigeria, in Abia State. Some women came to me and said that the herders were uh, bringing their cows to finish up all their planted, uh, the, and that there's nothing they can do. That even when they come there, they will threaten them that they are going to kill and maim, and there's nothing they can do about it. They wanted for me to do something about it. So I had to go to the local government chairman and said, let's go and see the DPO and let us, and they had to go to plead with those headers. That is the extent to which this has reached. Everyone in Nigeria, if you go from the west to the coast, all the way up to the middle bed and you go up to the north, farmers are under threat. And what it has led to is the food crisis that we have today. So I support this bill, and I say, as we consider it, let us also look at all the elements that will make us bring out a bill that will be for the interests of... This is where Baribe is getting it wrong. He was right when he said that these people are killing our farmers. But he called it clash. First of all, there is nothing like clash. This is the only thing Flannis want you to believe. Farmers never kill any header. Headers have been the one killing them. Just in a year, Tinibu took over face. More than 1,300 plateau youths has been massacred in cold blood by Flannis terrorists in the name of headers. Nigerian soldiers are not doing anything about it. They pretend. So these are not clash. These are assassins. Assassinated innocent farmers in Nigeria. And the Gabriel Bess claimed they are coming from our side. That was what Flanil told them. You know, some of them working in Senate are watching their words, the, what they say. But the truth should be told that these people are Flanis, though some of them came from our side, just like Buhari said. But they are infiltrated them. This is why someone like me Tiela, can rise up and say that they are the ones who kiss also people because they kill their cow. Do not forget that they claim that any Flanis side are their brother. They can come in, according to ECOWAS, whatever it is. I don't know what ECOWAS has achieved for Africans, apart from giving them problem and causing terrorism. If these people are Flanis that we used to know, the letter change and turn to kill us. So why should we offer them land for ranching in different states like they claim? What I'm saying in essence is this. They should stay in their land and do their ranching until when they learn how to stop killing people. If not for instance, security network in Igbo land, these people would have taken over Igbo land if you don't know it now. So let us call it spread, spread. In my former first video, I explained how these people told the Reverend Father, a bishop, that they are planning to take over Igbo land because they have taken over the whole Nigeria. Except Ibo land because Ibo land the security is tight. But now that there is insecurity there caused by soldiers that they are waiting for signal. So who are giving them this signal if not the soldiers? The thing that happened above recent is one of the plans to disorganize Ibo land and bring influence stories into our land to take over 
and start their deliberate duty. And that we will not allow to happen. Let me not go so much far in this news. I think I'll come to the end of the news. <laughs>